All right, guys, so we have another video in the makes. The tonneau just arrived. Um, hopefully it fits on the Dakota. Uh, if it fits, I'll put the link down below. And if it doesn't fit, I won't put shit down below. Uh, once again, this came out for Amazon. It has really good reviews. I saw this one review where it said it fit a 2000 Dakota. So mine's only a year difference from 2000. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got to trim. I know we got to trim the bed liner, but that's not a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see how it fits on the Dakota. So guys, this is pretty damn straightforward. You don't got to be a professional at it, but you have that screw in there. Well, that portion of the screw is like a square. It needs to slide in this rail. And the tunnel itself has a gasket down here like a foam gasket that one needs to sit on top of your bed so what you want to do is roll it up roll it front frontwards a little bit stick your hand under the damn tunnel and push it forward and you're going to feel where that foam gasket feels on your bed line almost flush in the back same shit over here Flushed, stick your hand under the bed tunnel and you feel the gasket sealing and that's how it needs to go. Then you're just gonna have to align them just like so. Not line them here, like so. And roll it forward and see if it's squared. If it's squared, roll it back forward. I don't wanna trim my bed liner, so what I'm gonna do i just drill holes on the bed liner itself with the hole saw so I can stick the clamps in there. We have six, three on each side with the Allen head. Everything's provided. So let me go ahead and uh, throw it on the bed. Uh, let me find my, my squared away point. From what I see, I think it's squared away already. But I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do off camera because I don't have a tripod or a GoPro. And do it yeah so this is what i mean whenever you're installing it that tab needs to go in that channel on both sides and see it's going there but not in here so we need to bring this one in more towards the inside or this one so i'm gonna get a tape measure and i'm gonna measure but it looks like it's the right size i'm liking it it's got Velcro on the sides as well, you know? So let's go ahead and just align it up perfectly good. And it looks like it's gonna work, guys. Uh, yeah, so what I'm doing, I was thinking about trimming my bed liner, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm using a hole saw, cutting a hole in my bed liner. Um, I'm not too crazy about it. I'm gonna get spray on bed liner when I get this truck painted. And that's that. So let's go ahead and do it. Guys, there it is. She's all latched up. I want to open it, pull this latch. And you see how now that's lined up there in the hoe, in the hoe, just pull it. There it is. And now it's got to put the other two clamps on each side. Comes with Velcro for perfectly sealing. She looks good. She looks very good. All right, guys, so the install is a success. This fits much better with no bed liner. I don't want to take it off because I actually do work truck shit with this. I'm gonna take it off when I get the truck painted. Uh, I drilled the bed liner here, there, and it came with six clamps, two on each side and uh, two in the front. But um, kind of scratched the bed, the bed right there with the hole saw. And I'm going to just hold on to those two other clamps. So whenever I do get the truck painted, I'll tell the body work man to uh, fix that. Fix everything in the bed. Um, spray on bed liner. I want that motherfucker thick. Because like I said, I do, do work truck shit with this. Um, a lot of people, I know some people were telling me to put a, a toolbox on it, 
I don't want to. Um, it's an RT Dakota. It's not a sport Dakota. It's not a work truck Dakota. It is a work truck, but it's not a work truck, you know? Uh, the whole reason why I did a bed cover as well is because sometimes we go to get groceries uh, in this truck where I don't feel like driving the Hellcat or any other vehicle. Or sometimes I actually go to Walmart for errands and the groceries start rolling back and forth. Bags start flying out. And it's just hectic, so I can just throw my shit in the back. Uh, I am going to fabricate a little 2 by 4 put it here, or a bed extender, something. I still want the truck functionable to do outside work. And uh, that's that. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Uh, we're going to... My brother just honked. <laughs> uh, we're going to go wash this bed out and just keep it cleaning here from now on. Uh, we do have a lot of shit in here. So, yeah, I just threw away some Allen, Allen keys. I don't need those motherfuckers. But it's a pretty damn straightforward kit, guys. There it is. Um, it's a pretty simple install. Let me go ahead and roll it up. Comes with Velcro on the sides. Put it in there, put it in there, you pull it, and it locks, simple as that, come around, seal it up with the Velcro, seal it up with the Velcro, Just like that, guys. Uh, it looks like it's pretty good material. Only time will tell. Time will tell. Uh, I saw really good reviews on it on Amazon. Uh, it is a whole lot cheaper than going to an actual truck and accessory place. For the one in the Viper truck, I paid about 800 almost a grand. Um... But, oh well. And your tailgate closes with no problem. Uh, you do have like half an inch of tailgate left, but that's okay. I'm not really too crazy about it. It looks clean. What I wanted makes the truck a little bit more functionable. Makes it look a little bit more precise. A little bit more... It makes it look cleaner. I'm not going to lie. That's it, guys. We're going to go wash the bed. Close her up. And thanks for watching. All my Dakota fans, my Neon fans, my Viper truck fans, Hellcat fans, all my fans, all my subscribers. Um, you want to get a bed tunnel for your Dakota? I'm going to list it down below. Um, that's that. Thanks for watching once again. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'm going to put the link down below. Thank you.